Here is a wig. I already plucked. I've installed this wig now twice. First time ever was a year ago. Second time ever was last week when I went to glue it down myself. So we're gonna just reapply it and hope for the same results. This is a wet and wavy um, wig, so y'all gonna help me style it and all that. But for now, we're gonna go with the process of putting she on. All right, we semi on, we just wanna measure our wig, make sure our ear pieces are lined up, make sure we got enough of our cap cut off. Looking all right to me. So let's get to sealing it on. I really hate that I don't have any hair clips. Now, you're supposed to take alcohol to your waterline and what have you. Why well, I say waterline? With um, a cotton swab, but I don't have one. I use them all. So, let me use this piece of tissue and put alcohol, ooh, put alcohol there on it. There we go. And then we're gonna rub it across our hairline, right underneath our cap. Just to clean up makeup residue oils, dirts, whatever it is that one may have on their face. Okay. Okay. Look at my baby hair is poking out right here. Now, what I've noticed the girls do, I might change my part up, but first thing we're gonna just worry about getting this wig on. Or should I do my part first? Man, they don't know. We worry about the part after we seal it. Now we got the alcohol off. We put on our bonding glue. Now you can just use the Gots to Be spray glue if you want to just reapply your wig quick. But me, I do sweat, especially up in here. I get hot. This damn wig could be shifted to the left and the right, up and down by both at six o'clock. That dance ugly. And I don't want that. So we're gonna use this bonding glue. This is Ghost Bond. And we're gonna put it on section by section and get to sealing this thing on our head. I'm gonna use the back of this because I don't want to use the back of this. I'm gonna apply maybe two or three layers and that's gonna be that.
As if nothing ever happened. Okay. Chewing the shit out of Now, that. I will tag who I purchased my wig from down below. Because if you are a girl who actually know what you are doing, and you are a professional, then I'll let y'all go ahead and get some wigs from her. But I didn't order this personally off any website or nothing. I purchased this from the lady who actually styled it on my head when I originally first purchased it. So, yeah. She have tons. She got colored wigs too. My reasoning why i like this wig so much because i'm somebody who like say i've been in locks for almost three years if not three years and that get up and go feel the things is just everything to me so i kind of be wanting my wig to be the same way and with this wig i literally just have to spray it down with water put some mousse on it and that's it i'll be good to go seriously Our wig looking better already, child. You just need a little extra tender love and care on it. That's all. and then put the band back on. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Because we're going to put this band on while we do our makeup. Let's see. Let's pin this into a ponytail before I finish up. Actually, probably end up fixing my. Uh, we can do it. Let's do it. It's my mousse for curls because it's a curly wig. But for now, I'm gonna use just a little bit just to wet me. Let's back up. Let's be able to 
sleep and spell. That's all I'm trying to do. But y'all see my head underneath this wig. Y'all know I ain't got no edges, so don't judge how I'm swooping them. I don't know. I don't know. Good enough for now. I'll tell you that much. all that stuff on the rest of this after we do makeup is installed. Damn, a wet and wavy. I love the hair this week. So yeah, whatever. We're going to really fix it up, fix it up after I get dressed. And do makeup and all that cute stuff. So let's set up for makeup. 